Ha, bub, 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 bub. That's crazy. Think we're alive. Think, think, think we're alive. Uh, think, think we're alive. Continue. Rise from the ashes. Yes, I was right. We were in the high prosecutor's office. Okay, so <clears throat> if I remember correctly, we are questioning. What the fuck? Ah, uh, guest. My apologies. <laughs> Oh, it's you. No, that's me. Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. It's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave so long. <laughs> Is Edgeworth here? Like, there! Standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Takes a sip. The sky is blue, and so am I. Oh. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service! Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh yes, he brought me the uh, latest information, it seems. Really? Was it, uh, helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow, or make a move. That, that guy's hard to read. That French, hey. that French restaurant's an Ace Attorney 3. <laughs> uh, Trois Bien. Trois Bien. <laughs> <laughs> um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. I'm gonna deck out against this kid. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is, like, really taking a toll on him. <sighs> Alright, well, let's chat him up. So, how did the Inquiry Committee go? Actually, they decided not to treat this as a case of concealing evidence. That's communication errors during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. You were lucky this time. Already. Again. For sure. Oh, wait, 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 what do you mean by again? Y you were lucky? Always have been. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard them say so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Wait, does this man have his outfit on the wall? Yes, yeah. he does. Yes, he does. That's fucking swaggy. Yeah, we, we, one, can, one can only aspire to be like this one day. Yo, that's fresh. What? Is that? On oh, Amazon? Okay, I'll order a bottle. I'll order a bottle. It'll take it. Yeah, yes, oh, yeah, this thing? Maximum strength? Okay. Why is he in so much pain, you think? Oh, there's two. Yeah, I think. Shouldn't be mandatory. Okay. Yeah, it was just I had to press a different button. Sorry, there's always something to do when we go live. Uh, okay. Oh. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Oh, I fucked up. Well, I'm, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened. 
They gave control over of the investigation over to the police department. <coughs> the police department. Yes. Any further investigations for this case will be directed by Chief of Police Grant. Gant. I can do nothing now but wait for his results. I... Okay, I see. Wow. Why, I ask you, why? All of long, all along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. You believe forging evidence was right? <laughs> you, Listen, did, you, you, did, you did forge all that evidence, Edgeworth. You, you know, we can't, we can't wait that clean. Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Yeah, well, now it's time Phoenix. to, now it's time to expose him. Phoenix, tell me why you need nothing but a heartache. <laughs> you exposed this asshole. Uh, God, we have the question about- Let him know that he ain't nothing but a mistake. Right. Let's go. We came here to ask him about his ID card. That's right. Okay, so I definitely <laughs> missed something, because last time I, I was here, I did not see the jar. I know where that jar is from, but... I think we might have done that last time. Yeah, oh, I think, I think you, were, you were AFK for a few days. It was, like, because of Pokemon or something. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, right! I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... Hmm? What's this? A record of the ID card usage. Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> yes, that's true. What? Why, Mr. Edgeworth? He's <laughs> acting like he, like he did it already. <laughs> Well, where do you think I keep my forged evidence? I mean, please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go, but you've got to know us. Say more. <laughs> more. <laughs> hmm? The chief of police? Dude, man, fuck the police, bro. I hate those things. He wanted evidence for a case I wrapped up half a year ago. Oh, he did, huh? Oh, he really? Okay. He told me he wanted to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. Oh, wow. Convenient. But it was, you know, it was solved, right? It would have, it would have to be if the evidence is already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. Okay, see, you can't just do that. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. The stabbings. <laughs> Can I ask what, like, kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has something to do with the current case. You know that's never true. <laughs> look at the look at the look at his face. He knows. He knows. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the current case. He says that's knowing full well. Orgasm grinning right? <laughs> yeah. he, He's doing this specifically to make Phoenix's job life harder for himself. He's petty. <laughs> oh, what a punchable face. Now, now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Y'all hating his outfit is fresh. I mean he is <laughs> I mean listen, he is well dressed. Look at this man. This is all Stubborn clean. I... Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. And he drives My question a... is, and he drives ask Phoenix, do we have an office like this? No. We're... All right, then. We barely have a home. <laughs> See? Yeah, but, but between the last case and this one, Phoenix didn't take a single job. Yeah, so he... I don't know how he's alive, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like some of us... Maybe you. <laughs> Maybe some, hey. of us, some of us don't want to live in squat. Like he's he's a he's a defense lawyer who only jumps in when like someone is in the most dire straits possible. I don't know how he's alive. Um, God. Okay, what else could we possibly show? Him? He charges a crisis rate. <laughs> uh, okay, it's not that. My best evidence. What's my best evidence? What, this fucking... <laughs> I bought the fucking knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not our best. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I, I guess we skipped something. Okay. What have you done? <laughs> I, 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 I was kidding. Jesus. It's okay, I'm sure none of that was important. I'm sure none of that mattered, and I'm really surprised there's not a text log in, in a game that's all text. That's a visual novel, yeah. Huh. How about that? Okay. Oh, he, must be he must be talking about his. <laughs> 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 
He must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. Stop breathing my air! Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth! Wait. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> show him my best evidence! Dennis, show him the knife! <laughs> I mean, it's a bloody knife! <laughs> In terms of our best, that was definitely it. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing leak case. Right. Head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. Oh, the plot thickens. Let's go. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too, then? Oh, yeah, that's not suspicious. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Hmm. Wow, you, like, get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? Usually only when I forget my safe word. I thought it was only me around you. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What I want to know is why a deputy chief of police... Why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. Yes, you forged evidence. We know. Jesus. We were dealing with the vicious murder. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. Instead, there's definitely innocent blood on your hands. <laughs> we won a guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Come That's on, right. Man. I choked the life out. Of, I choked the life out of him with my own hands. <laughs> of course. Oh no. I mean, of course not. I, I didn't touch the evidence. I only touched the perpetrator. <laughs> <laughs> I only touched the perpetrator, and it was only once, right? <laughs> yes, I will do anything within my power to win a trial. However, I have a code, and I follow it faithfully. Which means nothing. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My, my sister. What? What brand of conditioner you use? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, if you were still studying forensic science. Huh? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Why just today, Mister Wright? Now we're using this. Please don't spray that around my office. <laughs> Why not? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Luminal testing fluid. <laughs> <you mean>, <laughs> well then, you might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints! It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For, for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. No, Edgeworth, you don't understand. There's too much evidence. I have 20 things in this folder. Make room. <laughs> uh, thanks. Also, like... this seems hella doctored, you know? Just <laughs> <in relation. laughs> what, yes, yeah, being given evidence by the guy whose entire career is based around fake evidence? Yeah. It's pretty how, sus, bro. Allegedly fake evidence. <laughs> but how about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? God, he's so out of the loop. He's not even near the loop anymore. <laughs> he's not even near the loop. <laughs> well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. God, I hope. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious scribble, handprint scribble, somewhere. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Da -da -da. So is tomorrow day three of court? I guess it technically is, yes. If I were just, I think it says day two in my save right now. Okay, so the only place with a handprint is the evidence room still. Oh, guard station. Ace Attorney menuing edition. <laughs> Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Oh, That's right. yeah, that, that is one. suspicious, That's because it. it's a bloody handprint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm starting to see where Dennis is coming from. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's silly. It's a bloody <laughs> fucking handprint! Oh, man. <laughs> Investigates the scene. Uh, 
everything checks out here, everyone. Let's go home. Wait, hold on. <laughs> here, in, in this totally blood, totally bloody handprint on the detective evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. It's not a secret weapon, then. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a finger? Each finger was behind a slightly different imprint. Let's use the finger. Uh, we're fine. The clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Are you fucking blind, Nick? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Quit fucking procrastinating and choose a finger. <laughs> the thumb is gone. No. What? But the pinky's on okay. the But it's no, to the side. The <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, you the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean with your fingers? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I remember this is a DS game. Yeah. Ah! Let's enter, see? <laughs> it looks like that did the trick, Emma. Thank you. No problem, player. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, the aluminum powder up here is completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. I think you had to use the DS mic for this. You did. I believe you also had the blow. I think you also had the blow on the phone version, but I don't remember. Huh? Uh, wait, huh? How do I do that? <laughs> with E. With E. With, with Exciting, e. I know. E for exhale. <laughs> Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow, that looks like fun! It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine, it won't go up your nose or anything. What happens if it does? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got three hours to live. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. You throw the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Mm. Don't think about the rest. Oh, whatever, it's not the first time I've ingested powder through my nose. Me neither. Uh, those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Right? Yeah, I guess I better give it a try. Huh? <laughs> are we not? Are we not done yet? Oh no, that's right. I have to. I mean, why won't I just? I forget if you have a limited number. Of I don't give powder. a fuck. You wait. You need. That's another part of the game. You okay, are. Now, how do I tell? You I pull out the credit card. Oh, never mind. Ah, you did it. You found one. Oh wait, but, we, could've used, we could've used Goodman's ID card. This Too looks fun. nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means... Fuck us. Huh? Wait, fuck us? The person who left his hand for him must have worn gloves. Oh yeah, that would do it. If you're gonna commit a murder, you might as well wear, wear, wear gloves. Oh, wait. Oh god, don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Alright, I won't tell you. Hey, calm down. <laughs> That's just the way it goes to scientific investigations. Like, totally all the time. But it does seem like a total shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely. Hint, hint. Dun, dun, dun! It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm. Fingerprints outside the blood. Uh. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby! <laughs> what the hell? Powder donuts makes Nick donuts. Say hello to my little friend. I'm trying to do some rails. <laughs> Again, we have we have Goodman's ID card. This is possible. Emma, I need you to look away. I need you to do this fat rail real quick. <laughs> what the okay, hell? I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of rails you've been doing. This shit is not a rail. Yeah, this is absolutely <laughs> not. This will murder. Four people. <laughs> this is like a swimming hey, pool. we got it! <laughs> oh, I, am a, I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, no, oh, there's blood. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, is there more? Oh my god, a piece of your nose just fell off, Nick. Does that happen all the time? Uh, it's it's normal. Oh, no, we gotta keep yeah. going until it's clear. What? <laughs> is this not clear? I'm trying.
try to blow. Yeah. I guess you yeah, missed hey. a pixel somewhere. A print so clear it's dazzling. My eyes feel super focused right now, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine too. Oh. God, everything's numb. Wait. Dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. Woo! Mini game I, time. I mean, sorry, I'm a little energetic right now. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint. And not knowing who the owner is, right? That seems crazy. But I mean, that's not just me. No, no, I guess, I guess you're right. That's fine. Why is he, like, begrudgingly accepting that? Like, what, <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, I guess she's fucking right. God. <laughs> <laughs> to point out the person who you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? Nick! Work with me here! <laughs> <laughs> I can make a pretty good guess. Yeah, I think anyone could if we look at the chart. Fuck. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me, me? Uh, so whose fingerprints <laughs> would we most likely find on this evidence locker? I mean, oh. it's Goodman's locker, isn't it? No, it's not. It's Gumshoe's locker. Yeah, it's Gumshoe's yeah. locker, yeah. It's, just, it's the same fingerprint. Yeah, this looks I can practically the same. Oh, wait. So, like, we, we, yeah. th this was definitely a case where we, we could eyeball it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe! No wait, fucking shit. Man. What's Something wrong, Mr. Wright? <laughs> you gave me this so what look. I guess that's <laughs> probably because I was thinking, so what? <laughs> hey, are you like mocking me? That's rude, dude. No, why would I do that? You know, I could just fucking leave. Good luck on your case, idiot. Good luck yeah. with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she seems to want to be in there, so I don't I know. I know, it's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. I hope. Wait, you just sometimes you hit, you. sometimes you miss. I guess they never miss, huh? You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. I was Wright. stuck on Force 1 for like four turns. Oh, you so I just kept on deck thinning. Oh, you won. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I fucking... <laughs> thanks, Force hitting. 2. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, thanks for the sympathy, Emma. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out! So, I mean, I, mean, I don't remember. Wait, yeah, what? Oh no, there was one over here, on like, this thing. If I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so did I miss the part where you had to play the video back and forth? No. Okay. What? I don't know why you remember this so clearly. <laughs> but I guess it I, was cool. But I mean, I played. I guess I played this game like three years ago. There. Is this is where we got a luminol fluid reaction. Right. There was a handprint here. How do you forget that? Okay. Want to try using this? No. What? I mean, they're, they're, yeah. Let's check for prints. I can actually give you the option of no. Okay. Let's check for prints. <laughs> okay. That's the spirit. Oh. I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away, too. Oh! Right! So that means no prints. What do you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me! Anyway, we must try to find the prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Oh, we just start dusting here? Phantom Blaster Dragon. Wait. I don't know what he does, but I guess he's going in. I mean, so uh, try to click where the fingers that aren't showing up are, I guess. Right? Yeah, so bless a grade 3 to deal damage to your opponent, they have 4 less damage. What the and, hell? Another, and a very that similar effect of Dark Dictator, so he's going in. And another effect that was, uh... 
I think it was like kill two regards to get 10k and crit. I can look it up. Well, that sounds about right. Let's see. Okay. I'll let him I mean, it's, uh, a, it's kill three for so plus don't 15k. Don't click on crit. the print. Click yeah, on. click click where a finger would be. Yeah, that click around like, here. Yeah. The three Wait, damage what? is. Uh, that's a hand. That's where his palm so is. So blast degree free. Yeah. Yeah, you, you want to go. You see the fingertips. Put where there's there'd be fingers to the left and right of those. There yeah. Go. There we go. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how tiny that. You're really getting really deep into this Phoenix character. Yeah, I'm just uh, you know. All he right. was just making sure that we knew, you know. All right, Emma, look, Emma, look away. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, no, Nick, it's my turn. <laughs> you don't want to see this. <laughs> this is my favorite mini game in this entire piece of shit. And not just because it's, it's clearly cocaine. Uh. No. Are we sh Yeah, probably yeah, not. I... It's not him. No. I mean, if we're looking at the fingerprints, they're not the same. <laughs> the same hit, Chief. Oh! This one. That looks cool. Yeah, that looks close. Jake Marshall. Yeah, dude. Jake Marshall. Motherfucker. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Who's are they? Who's? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall! I knew it! <laughs> um, I like how she went, I was like, Officer Jake Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's lots of Officer Marshalls. That could just be a title. We don't know. <laughs> Officer Dr. Professor Esquire Mar Marshall. <laughs> That's 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 gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. What? This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. Yeah, you're right. He didn't just kind of leave his bloody ass handprint on the locker and didn't clean it at all. Yeah. The luminal reaction. The blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. I can fight uh. the MC guy. Oh. He plays. Oh, he plays this game. MC Mia apparently plays Vanguard, the game he commented for his, for a living. Well, I guess it's like how you know all those smash are in. And he plays games. Novus. Because you know, usually the people who commentate play the game, they're just not good enough to actually be on stage. Okay, hold on <laughs> one second. I need one one micro. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. No, we lost him again. Goodbye, Phoenix. Okay, he'll rise from the ashes once again. I have returned. See? So, we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a white blood stain. But, why would Officer Marshall? Because he's a murderer. But it looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. <gasps> I guess this is what you'd call. Decisive evidence. Uh, I don't believe it. Cue sad music to be continued. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're so sad. He's like, <laughs> I'm, okay. Phoenix... No, wait, did, did, did people Emma... care about Officer Marshall? I like... guess Emma did. <laughs> Yeah, Emma does. He almost dated her sister that one time, I think. So, I think they, so they did Mia, that, right? but she didn't seem broken up about that. I'm rushing him. Get him. Wait, but he's the one playing Novus. Yeah, I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Wright? I do not. Huh? <laughs> I, I mean, I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all. Psst, that is... The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Sis, how'd you get out of jail? <laughs> Lana! I broke out. Oh, <laughs> Turn, turns back, heightened to, heightened to breaks on certainty murder isn't a crime. I apologize for yesterday, I was indisposed. You mean in prison? You mean in right, you were in prison. Yeah. I uh, hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. No, I I broke out. Right. They they couldn't hold me at all. <laughs> I'm used to all nighters though. That's a weird thing to say, just throwing that in there. Yeah, just casually tossing that in, yeah. 
So how did it go? It is as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. Oh yeah, yeah, no, the usual. Yeah, thanks, Presser. <laughs> I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. Also, it's over. Present. Well, she is a lawyer, I guess. <laughs> yeah. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lana, don't tell me you... Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Hold on. Miss Guy. So, mm -hmm. what's your plan? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Blood-stained fingerprints, to be exact. <laughs> Gasp. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? You have to prove me innocent from breaking out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is a different charge yeah, I had not to be, to be honest, I didn't think you guys would get this far, so I took matters into my own hands, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In order to fund my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Sky? Do what you have to do, Mister. Right? Not if you're playing MLB. You get to put them. You get to put the Gens a lot back. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Wait, you, you know what? Vince hasn't voiced the judge yet. Also. Okay, yeah, judge time. All right, Vince Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, am I reading this over? Oh, you, no, you don't have to. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution yeah. is... Dramatic pause. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. <laughs> Next 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet, the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. That's not how that works. But that's not physically possible, is it? They're working on a theory. <laughs> What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappear. This is amazing. Yeah. And the bloody body, like, eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow! This is one messed up trial because no one understands how time and space works. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, we are dealt with this phenomenon. Heisenberg is on Sterner Dean Goodman. Anyway, I, um, <laughs> one of my duties as a prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe we'll find which way we should proceed. Uh, and the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. And that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds like so on top of things. Yeah, he usually is on top, but... What? Huh? Go on. Uh, even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. Yeah, that's crazy, right? And <laughs> that's supposed to be an admirable trait. Better than you! Ah, touche. Very well. Let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, actually, before we continue, where did you get that cravat? Von Karma. <laughs> hmm. You may call your first witness of the day to the stand. <laughs> first first witness the prosecution calls. The suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. Oh, I'm going to be working overtime. The suspect? <laughs> you mean the so-called murderer? That's what suspect means, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, boy. Thanks what did again, you do, wild from the get-go. Oh, what adult. <laughs> well, the witness, please state his name and occupation. Yes, sir! I am Officer Mike Meekin, sir! It's Mike, huh? <laughs> Mike.
We live now. <laughs> yeah, we had, we really we really had to stop on uh, Meekins' O face, huh? Uh, o face. <laughs> See his tonsils. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to give us that get get. Uh, if you want to, you could fight three Novas in a row. Okay. I don't think I want to. My occupation is uh, that would be murderer, sir. <laughs> I can swap to him. You get a trial deck. Yay. I don't want to uh, just yet. So you're telling us you're a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir! I'm the one who did it! I'll never kill anyone again, sir! You gotta believe me, sir! Uh, actually, what we like- Sir, I'm what you would call part of the younger generation, sir! He's a, a zoomer. A person He's whose a actions zoomer. adults can't possibly comprehend. He is a zoomer. <laughs> I'm about to make you comprehend my- Anyway, please, Mr. Edward, sir, help me, sir. I wish I could. Officer Meekins. Yes, sir! <laughs> Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir! As you wish, sir! After all, I am part of the generation that must be told what to do, sir! This guy's a fucking sub. What is he doing? <laughs> you can't <laughs> fault him for her lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> Prime report, energy. sir. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room Wait. that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life. Then I... I did it. <laughs> After that, I passed oh my out. God, this guy is great. Until another <laughs> officer smacked me awake. Instead of saying drive check, he says time for judgment. <laughs> Who are you fighting? The Chinivio Darker Reckon. Mm. Is, <laughs> is he the guy who gets possessed by Gestalt? So the victim. No, it's Detective a Goodman attacked you. Do what to others before they do what to you. That's the Meekins family motto, sir. Oh my god. I see. The new friend <laughs> of you. And a, <laughs> and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir! He knocked me upside the head, sir! Very well. The defense may begin its cross examination. What I need here is more info to work with. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Talking to myself. Okay. <coughs> so we need just more input out of him, so this just sounds like pressing. But where? I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. Good night, Andrew. Oh, good night. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir! I have one right here around my neck! So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? Ooh? There it is! I found it! Could you please read us the number? Yes, sir! It's 4989596. That's my number, sir! <laughs> I see. Huh, but the number of 498596 is shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time was when I relocated the blue badge to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. I see. So it was during that second time when... Yes, sir! That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. Okay, let's probe that a bit. You know, I, I've heard that line before. 
<laughs> yeah. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir! A knife! Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was, sir. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. Fuck. That's when I reacted, sir. <laughs> I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's an image. And That's how now. I got this gnash on my hand. Oh, gash. Maybe if you just, like, kept your cool, your hand totally wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. And he didn't stab you more. <laughs> <laughs> what, exactly do you, what exactly do you mean when you say you did it? Huh? Oh, okay, I guess that's happening, but not what I intended, but okay. You know, it means I did it! I don't know. Huh? I, I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. Uh, Trial of the Dragon! The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched the knife from him. You took his knife! I spun him around to perform the disarming maneuver! I made sure to close my eyes like a man! <laughs> What? <laughs> I... I see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew is my coat was drenched in a sea of my blood, and then... And the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir! After that, I passed out to him. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> By what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious! He asked right. when you woke up! <laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain! That's nice. Uh, I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. When I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir! The blue badges, sir! I returned to the entrance before things got out of hand. There was a dead body! Well, we can all rest easy now. Boom, 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 boom. This is what he was telling us yesterday. Well, we need to try and skim some more details from him. For starters, what was an officer from the General Affairs Department doing in there in the first place? Right! Let's press him for all he's worth! <laughs> okay, so we only haven't pressed him on the first one. I want his shoes! <laughs> get, get his shoes! Mr. Meekins, you work in General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir! I am in charge of hiring new recruits, sir! Yeah, so there's a scary thought, okay. Yeah, this transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. <coughs> Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the blue badger, sir! The blue badger? Yes, sir! The lovely police mascot created by the chief of detectives, sir! It doesn't Wait, look like a badger at all. Either way, Sonic, I look, <laughs> Sonic looks like a hedgehog. I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. That was my sole mission for the day, and quite frankly, in life, sir. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I see. Sounds like a very, uh, important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around. I relocated the blue badge into the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. 
Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um. Yes, Officer Meekins. With regard to that, sir, take a look at this. It was sent to my jail cell. Chief Gear delivered it to me just this morning, sir. The chief. Delivered it. What is that? A videotape? And not to either attorney, mind you. Yes, sir! That's what absolutely is that? right, sir! A videotape, <laughs> sir! It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room! Objection. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape. And was told it had been mistakenly erased. What's going on? That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. I doubt that. Looks like the communication with the police department is as good as ever. That's a joy. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. I'm quite proud of my work here. Oh, uh, but please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. You called Who yourself you a murderer murder early. A video of the real murder. That's what are we getting ourselves into. Time to raise the age rating of this game. The, the, you, I forgot about this. Yeah, no, this is this is great. Oh my god. Also, what a weird angle for the security camera to be at. It's like someone yeah, what? Someone put a tripod like in the middle of the room, and, <laughs> and it's just it's scanning half the room. <laughs> You're crazy, it's just oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, it looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. He just got worked. What if it honestly it? looks like he died just yeah. there. <laughs> what if he what if he did? <laughs> oh, and you notice the, the shirt was like tucked in the locker after. But it wasn't mm, tucked in before. Sounds yeah. like an important detail. Also his coat got blood on it too, which is interesting. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is that wriggly piece of plywood? <laughs> sir, that is the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger, sir. I think we have defini different definitions of the words pride and joy. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Yes, well, anyway. This tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter, uh, someone. Mm. In the evidence room, and some sort of, uh, activity. <laughs> Your Honor, instead of relying on some clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Interrupt me again, and I'll have you hanged. <laughs> no, I don't want to Huh, Judge has got a different vibe to him today. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. As you wish, sir. His face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir! So it must be him! No one else could have unlocked it! What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker, equipped with a fingerprint-activated lock. 
These locks ensure that the locket can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. It's a real bitch and a half to replace when someone mm. loses their job or gets transferred. Intrigue. That would mean... The victim of the crime scene would have to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Alright, let's take a quick look at this court record. Jesus, there's really just three pages of evidence. Riveting. Oh. I wonder if we should have dusted that safe. Could we have done that? No, no. Once you proceed oh. here, all you've gotten everything you need. Gotcha. I think you have the ability to like. Don't you have the ability to speed up and like slow down the video? I don't. Yeah, I remember having it, but I don't know if we have it here per se. Huh. Yeah, normally it said like fast forward somewhere. Wait, you just got Tejist. What? It's yeah. I guess that's Murakumo's gimmick. On 221. I know they make tokens and they aggress you. Yeah, so the, the safe light is on. Hey, look at the no, glow. Oops! Oh. oh. <laughs> what have you done? We don't need it. Oh, you're perfect! No! Take a look at that glove. I don't know where it's from, but... Oh, yeah, this is from a, an incident that's totally not related to this case. Huh. Look at the index menu. This is as far as it goes. Huh. Look. Yeah. Basically... It's not like the guy in the, in the video was wearing gloves. So I don't remember the exact path. You don't. You don't have to. This is about piecing it together. <laughs> yeah. I know the general. Holy. About these lockers, is there no way to open them? No, sir. I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. They only. Oh, that's suspicious. They only respond to the registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he's tried. If the man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, then he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Exactly my point, sir! And this too! So, did the power go out of the police department? Yes. We have a really good proof of that. Hold on. <laughs> so much evidence. <laughs> but yeah, I thought we had a record of the blackout of the police department. Or was it in, like, the... No, not here. No. Nope. I guess we do not. Okay. But. Wait, go back. To the autopsy report. That was in an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, no, because the video happened at. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is kind of separate from the initial autopsy report, because 
they, we were solving the case of another murder, and they were like, just kidding, the same dude was murdered in two places, haha. <laughs> huh? <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> We're not presenting. Oh, keep going. How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir. From people in the know, sir. People in the know? The work is in the department oh, cafeteria, you. sir. They keep me informed. They also listen to my romantic troubles, sir. For the record, you. <laughs> I mean, the open locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified the station through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. Uh. However, the most important detail is not shown in this video. The man's face. Sir! If I may say something, sir! Please do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir. My supple body. My unsettled state can testify enough to this, sir. Yes, you have a point. The face doesn't lie. <laughs> that is... That's all I got. Unless the defense can find so a problem with it. Hint, hint, right? Do your job. <laughs> Mr. Wright, let's, like, check the court record again. I could feel Dennis screaming, this is your job, Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a problem. <laughs> Regarding the video contained on this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not have been Detective Goodman. Bum, bum, bum. What? This no, video no. contains such a contradiction. Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I propose that we have the defense. Point out to this alleged contradiction in the video. He would want me to point it out. Gotta make sure the players don't sleep at the Very wheel. Very well, proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us this contradiction you speak of. I have to point out a problem in the video. The first time I ever had to do that. You can do it, Mr. Wright. Probably. <laughs> It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. You know, like a video. Just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't play it too many times. I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? <laughs> Isn't that a million dollar question? Now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that indicates... Okay, well that just went by itself. I have a feeling it has to do with the time. The locker's lit up. The locker's lit up now. That oh. means it's already open, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what was, that's what I was checking the first time. <laughs> nice. <Take that. laughs> the thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins. Sir, do you mean me, sir? Obviously. Yes. Okay, whatever. As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint. If it's a match, the light turns on and the lock is released. Does he have a picture of Edgeworth in his locker? No, that's a girl from the next game. No. It's a gumshoes crush. Uh, according to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. <laughs> I crush pal? Yeah. Yeah, Edgeworth. That's what I said, Dave. His crush. 
If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. Oh, I beg- I'm- I'm- I- I melded the voices. It's just gonna go through it. Okay. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker... Let's rewind to a little earlier. Wait, this is like... This is slow as shit. Oh, he's really going for it, huh? <laughs> the, DS, the DS could only handle so much. <laughs> no, I do not think this is a DS issue. This, is, this was the choice. Here! Notice the light? What's this? It's already lit! It's always lit, Your Honor. Always has been. Always has been. <laughs> Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Wah! <laughs> uh, anyone Wah! see me get almost kill himself? So? Order! Oh, order! What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. Locker wasn't locked in the day of the crime. The locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When the door is shut, the sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know. It must have broken down. Very good, Your Honor. Of course. I'm not an expert in this. That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Oh, well. It just goes to show an officer should keep their mouths shut. So then, that's right. Do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor? Yes. Why wasn't the lock unlocked? Me, Your Honor? Ugh. I thought he just told novices to keep their mouths shut. Yes, well, you <laughs> see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Oh, um... Why are you so surprised? Maybe something like... Jam the system's sensor? Well, that really confused me that she added the like herself that time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something jam the sensor? Say... Something else that seems out of place in this video. Is it the giant yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> and besides that... There's gotta be another clue somewhere in the footage. Very well, let's inspect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright, please point out the cause of this. Okay, so it's open. <laughs> okay. Wait, the glove falls out. You see that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How do I okay. how do I rewind? J? Unwieldy. That's <laughs> <laughs> the lights are all on as well. Ah, Vince was right. It was the glove. Please watch closely. This is a continuation of the part I showed you earlier. Jesus Christ, Phoenix. <laughs> are we back in the beginning? <laughs> he even said it was a continuation, bro. A continuation from the beginning. I'm gonna blow my own brains out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Something white fell out of the locker. Wow. But sir! It's been my experience that things fall out when doors are open! We have people die when they're killed as well. Wait, let's not let's skip over what he just said! <laughs> We, we can't be sure that the item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. But what if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? In inserted. Oh my. <sighs> nice weather, huh? 
<laughs> nice weather indeed. Why they have to go through all that again? This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. Two out of three times I get stuck at the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing, my tie chokes me. But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Hold on, I just, I just want to. I just want to show. Uh, you know, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. Yes, because everyone knows gloves are made out of highly conductive metals, Edgeworth. <laughs> it would need to be an insulator. Yeah, an insulator, but at the crime scene. There just might have been something that fits the description. But sir, by insulator, you don't mean. I think I finally got this figured out. Like, like really, Edgeworth? Like, our most common Very gloves well, are made out of metal? Like, I don't know. What Renaissance fairs are is that what you were was taking that out? Yeah. stuck in the locker door. I mean, I found this near the locker, a thin rubber glove. We can't be sure if that was just the victim's locker. Did we watch the same video? <laughs> it has a tag that says SL9 incident. Hmm. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker, but that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. He admitted it! Get him! Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sir! It would appear so, sir! Order! 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 So we ought to believe then, the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman. Don't be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I think Ryan is full of it. The defense has made a demonstration of that possibility, and nothing more. Reasonable doubt be damned. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Ah. Sir, sir, me, sir? I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Mm. Oh! You mean that, sir? Of course. Is this a joke? Very well, begin your testimony. <laughs> Mystery Man 2. Electric Boogaloo. There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, one must use the ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective has used his card. An ID card record. I see. I have the ID re record here, right here, Your Honor. Wasn't Goodman filing for a missing item? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Also, 4.20 p.m. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're moving on. Just before the crime. Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transfer. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. You should have seen what happened with that uh, fishing rod in there and that car door. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too. Although it doesn't make much of a difference. There are only a few cases up for transferal there. And most were cleared by noon. Right, I see. Now let us move on with the, to the cross-examination. It's 
press on this. Is that card hanging from your neck one of those ID cards? Yes, sir! The card right next to my cuff, sir! I keep it in here so I won't ever forget it. But what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. Remember when I said two out of three times my neck, my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car? Well, the remaining time, it's my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes me! <laughs> Maybe I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, the police officer only has one ID card. Both the police department and the prosecutor's officers can attest to this. Please proceed with your testimony. Um, one second. One must use their ID card. Show him Goodman's ID card. I know the missing item ticket needs to be used at some point. Be like, bitch, I have an ID card. Found the, pro found the prosecutor's office crime scene. Oh, that's also part of it, because how did it end up there? Maybe. Also, are we sure the ID card for Bruce Goodman is Bruce Goodman's ID card? Yeah. yeah. This is it. Can, yeah, I mean, can we check the number with the record? Yeah, yeah. The record? It's the same. Uh, CB. I mean, it could be that it was found here. A drawer. Uh, I mean, we don't. I mean, we don't know when it was put uh, in the parking garage, though. I'm going for it. What else do we have? Because these things happen at the same time. Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I am not good at waiting, sir! What are you good at? I have the victim's ID card right here. He's getting choked, apparently. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in this goddamn courtroom is so just... Uh. What I say... Crime scene, your honor. I'm not referring to the evidence room or the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. Mm -hmm. Your honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report? Only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. It's only important enough to fill out this report. Let um, me guess. You believe that something is to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there's a high probability. He told us he loses his ID card all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gumshoe did. Oh yeah, Gumshoe. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order! Order! So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. <laughs> wow. wow! The man Officer Minkins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order, order! Does the prosecution have a response? Mm. I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Bravo? Allow me to surmise the defense's argument. At 5.15 on the day of the crime... The man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. 
First, the lock in the Everstone was already unlocked. Second, victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, he must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the kidding camera does not show the incident of the murder. Uh, wait, that's... <laughs> I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing your finger around. Uh, this isn't gonna end well. Well, well. It seems you finally realized... Exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> the defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So? <laughs> <laughs> so the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot. At the prosecutor, prosecutor's office, the murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. Forgot about that, didn't you? The evidence is compelling. Ah! A trustworthy witness. I'm sure the moment of the defendant used the murder weapon. Ah! Oh no! I knew the testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encounter? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Hmm. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something, or else Lana. What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Oh, not so tough without me around. <laughs> Maya, where are you? <laughs> You're right, Maya. I should object. <laughs> yeah, get him. One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you just proven. Of course not. I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? That in the court? I don't think so. <laughs> this cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. Security video did not show the actual murder. It also will not speed up at all, even slightly. <laughs> it, just won't. it just won't do it. I do not control the speed at which things die. As you could all plainly see here, Officer Meekins is dead. The man before us is a sham. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> However, it cannot be said that it's unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amount of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination of the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. <coughs> if this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Prosecution considered the let's have the police department to be unrelated. We not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. This might be my chance. chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mia Fey. Wait, I, I have a question. Huh? So the coat, right, when he beat up the cop, got right. like blood on the shoulder. Yeah. And then the picture of Lana. When she's like in that picture or whatever, she has blood on the shoulder of the coat that she's wearing. Yeah, so 
Apparently, it's not like an actual picture we have available to us. It's like a dramatic speculation. Yeah, that that's not a real picture. Oh, which really that's like... just what they assume she looked like when she you. Gotcha. <laughs> what I okay. did see, however, was the locker towards the exit. Before had nothing in it, and then later had a clot sticking out of it. White clot. Right. Oh. It was also the, the locker we found those uh, fingerprints for Marshall on. Yeah. But I think we got this motherfucker. Your Honor! <laughs> Your Honor. The defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh? Whom do you have in mind? Someone we have a reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. Yes, the prosecution arrests to hear this person's name. Also, you can't just do this. The other side needs to know who the witnesses are. For deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testify. What is his or her name or I'm, their name? I don't, see, I don't see Mia Faye here. Yeah, I do. Third from the right. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> is that third from the left? What? No, I was talking about Lana. Oh. Well, now I have to see who Joe thought he was talking about. Oh, wait, that'd wait, be wait, Maya if I was wait, talking wait. about her. Yeah, it's, well, that, wait, it's, it's, flipped. Flipped. it's flipped. Oh, it here, changed. Though. Yeah. Gant was in front before. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And Lana's third, fourth from the left now. What the heck? Yeah, Ma Marshall was third from the left. <laughs> anyway, Officer, J Officer Professor Esquire Jake Jacob Marshall. Oh, did you find Jake Marshall is my first name. Oh, did you find the game? Okay? What? Huh? No, I'm getting destroyed. Nah. Why him? I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. <laughs> He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he's an honor, since Phoenix is a honest man, it would never lie to me for his own gain. I mean, since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We should need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30-minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? Oh. We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. I need to go eat chicken anyway. Oh, uh, should we, uh... <laughs> you guys want to take a break here? Yeah. Sure. I just want french fries and onion rings. I'll be right back. I'll use the yeah. bathroom and get a bowl of cereal. <laughs> The fuck was that right? <laughs> Floundering around like a fucking fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such shoddy lawyering, right? I don't know why you're all surprised his name is Mr. Wrong. <laughs> I thought he should be in prison. <laughs> Red White. Should be, sure. <laughs> Also, is this, uh, is this case just like the porn star case? What's with all these names? Um, I don't know. There's just a lot. There's a lot of these. Like, what about them specifically? Because there's, there, there's, a, there's a lot to unpack here. Like, uh, the, the ones I can think of immediately are Angel Star. That sounds like a, that sounds like a porn name. Jake Marshall is also very close to a porn Lana, Lana Sky, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, like, that, that uh, definitely sounds like a poor name. Emma Sky, close enough. Sky. Bruce Goodman, not in porn, but... Well, <laughs> he's, the, he's the camera guy. Look at him. Damon Gant. That's just... I mean... Well, come on. That's like, yeah, come on. That's like a, that's like a supervillain name. <laughs> Mr. Meeseeks? <laughs> Mike? Mike Meeseeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. B Seeks. Look at me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I guess this is a trend going. I think this is the full cast of characters for this case, though. 
Pretty much. We have to meet a lot of folks, though. Luckily, done with her. I mean, he's dead. I think we're about done with him. We are definitely not done with you. <laughs> and we're about to interrogate this man. Jake Marshall's my first name. <laughs> but, my, but my friends call me Jacob. <laughs> my last name's also Marshall. <laughs> my father's name was Marshall T. Marshall. Mr. Wright, I have a confession. Is it that you're the murderer? Not really a cowboy. I fucking knew it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I drive a Sienna. Not a horse? A Sienna is pulled by four horses. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's a hot one. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. Alright. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. My name is Walker Texas Marshall. I guess we're do Okay, so we're doing this. <laughs> well, hell. <laughs> well, hell. Well, hell. There's just no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Huh? huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. Seems you figured everything out. Uh... I haven't figured anything out, lady. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I got nothing. <laughs> Lana... You're the one who knows everything! Emma. <laughs> I'm I, shocked. I just what, love, bitch? I, I, I just really love her. Oh my, I never expected <laughs> it. Little, the, the shocked face of like the hand on the chest, like, oh my god. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Emma! <laughs> you always know everything. Why don't you just like fucking tell us? <laughs> Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't ever recall asking for his, uh, protection. Wow. Fair, I How guess. How can you be so cold? <laughs> don't you, like, trust us? Don't you trust, like, me? You did, Dick! <laughs> 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 Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Oh, uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, pal. Uh, hey, pal. Don't worry. I shy, man. <laughs> Displeased face. <laughs> Impressed face. Oh, guess I am. <laughs> wait, 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 Make you a detective run around while on duty. To top it all off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. <laughs> Better <laughs> pal. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Hey! <laughs> I didn't see you then, Chief Prosecutor Sky. That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh-ho! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you mean this, right? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? And I won. <laughs> Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. But I bother you to bring me the SL9 incident files. I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. That's what Phoenix sounds like to me. That, that, you, is that what I sound? Okay. 
Oh wait, okay. The SL9 incident? That's only the 79th time I've heard that. Oh my god. Balana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Oh, I really can't be bothered for more evidence. My spine is gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> here, you might do well to read them. You can read, right? <laughs> what am I doing? I can't. It's your pockets, it goes. <laughs> I can't believe you, the chief prosecutor. We're a witness in that case. Miss Sky was a witness? Files for the Joe Dark killing, solved two years ago. His name was Joe Dark? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, feel like, I feel like his parents, like, really sent him up for it, you know? Alright, not support. <laughs> I didn't realize the killer was fucking reverse Joe. <laughs> Dark with an E, mind you. <laughs> Dark too. Thank Dark you. You don't want anything to do with Celia, but... Oh, what? Now that I brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? <laughs> Emma? But why? Why is your name in here? Jeez. I didn't. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I swear. Uh, what? My name's in there. That's crazy. I don't know. Unless. No, it couldn't be. Lana. This SL9 incident. Is that like? Is that the case that could have put me in prison two years ago? L Lana, say it ain't so. <laughs> That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the Joe Dark Killings. The Joe Dark. No! No, Lana! That's over with! No! <laughs> Emma, wait! Oh! oh my god, she ran away! Uh, you know what? I just remembered. <laughs> I gotta be someone. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Wait! Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. Not me, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you leaving? <laughs> this can't just be a coincidence. No, you, you just might be able to figure it out. Or you could tell me. I'd I be, could. That'd be okay. As long as we, <laughs> as long as we both know. Time to get back to the trial, Mister. Right? Luck. Yeah, that would have been so much easier. If you yeah. just told me. As long as, as long as everyone acknowledges the fact that I could tell you, but I won't. <laughs> I better take a good look at this file. To be continued. Do 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 do. And everyone's out here really just trying to make Phoenix's life harder for him. Uh, maybe he shouldn't be so poor. <laughs> maybe if he was rich like Edgeworth. He maybe. would drive a Lambo to work. He'd have his suit pressed and hung in a frame in his office. <laughs> a spare suit, mind you, not even his main suit. A suit that he bought not to wear, but just to show off. The court will now reconvene for the trial with Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of, of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's water, witness, bro. Please state your name and occupation. I still don't think you can do that. <laughs> me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man. Same as you. Under in the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross the intersection when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know you're a patrolman. Glug glug. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. His name is Woo. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. <laughs> now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. I do not take questions. <laughs> you were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the 
day the crime took place. Is that correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In plain old English. I mean, you gotta hand it to him. He never breaks character. He is a very good LARPer. It, it's not a character. <laughs> <laughs> how he talks. <laughs> My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Okay, so he wasn't doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. Yeah, one of them's you. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. He was getting literally, drunk. Yeah, literally at the bar drinking when he was supposed to be at work. I'm just an innocent traveling man. But if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. Glug glug. Glug glug. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. Reasonable. <laughs> to not. I can't say I care. For your beard. But you don't see me complaining. Bailiff, prepare the gallows. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute, Your Honor. <laughs> What do you mean by two security systems? And are you one of them? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. So stop getting little hairs all over my courtroom. <laughs> yes, well what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Fingerprint activated locks? And new fangled doohickeys are those. He's not being very helpful. He's not good with machines, or following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses, now don't they, Mr. So, so Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Trouble found you, <laughs> mister. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright, it's all yours. I really wish he wasn't. I mean, I have to. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you hear a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. That's a dangerous statement. No desperados <laughs> I know join the police force! So, Officer Marshal, on the day of the crime... Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room today. Are you lying? <laughs> there was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? It's a great question. Why are you fucking lying? Why are you always <laughs> lying? There's a penguin deck list, Katie, in your chat. Yeah, I'm looking at several lists right now. I'm just trying to build what I can given the shitty cards I have. Yeah, Fair enough. Improvising. The fingerprints. Do we just blast him already? Why not? No, I don't. Or maybe do you do that first? I mean, he said he wasn't in there for weeks, and those fingerprints are there. Oh, we should look at the Joe Dark files. Perpetrator Joe Dark. Crime. Serial murder. Sentence. Death. Oh, Edward, Japan. Edwards. And the liberal use of the death penalty. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you talking about, Katie? This is L.A. <laughs> oh, L.A. And the <laughs> use of the death this is Los Japangelos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, victims. Edward Jones. Jason Knight. Edith That's Kirby. Right. Edith Kirby? Yes. <laughs> Kirby. Rachel oh. Boss, Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall? Hold on. Hmm. Head Prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, Witnesses, Lana Sky, and Emma Sky. 
Executive Investigators, Damon Gunn, Alana Sky, Head Investigator Bruce Goodman. Okay, so Neil Marshall is significant. Good to know. Wait, go back to the fourth page. Oh. I can go back. Head Investigator Bruce Goodman. And Jake Marshall and Angel Star were normal investigators. Hmm. He doesn't miss, does he, Katie? <laughs> I'm watching out the corner. This guy's actually too strong. He is aggressive. Um. Hmm. Okay, not that I can tell. Like, bruh, I have to ask. What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. <laughs> Not even Angel Steak Lunches can beat that Paula's Bongole Sepia Pasta. <laughs> Do you mean to tell us you abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? Not at all. Oof, sorry. Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to raise this year? Why do I sound like that in your head, right? Get out of my head! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe yeah, we're only room for one in here. Square up! What? Well, well, maybe you should... you... Well, maybe you... well, maybe you shouldn't leave your head in blue text on the screen, all right? For everyone to read. Ever thought about that? Hey, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Great luck. Thank Got fuck. Him. This is how I win. <laughs> Eventually, you will you will hit Katie. It's just like the. You'll retire game. all my rear guards and get like 50k columns at grade two, but at I... least she doesn't get twin drive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or it's, gets... a, it's a little victories. Out of ammo. Oh God, it hurts. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Out of ammo. Do you think he means his uh, blood alcohol content was below like 5.5? We'll find out. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner, or as you call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me to this crime, then you'd better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back west into the sunset. He means scooter. It's a Sienna. Hmm. One thing seems clear. Despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. This is hilariously topical. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have Florida in there. <laughs> Apparently your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve, so I best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I better up the ante. So, we're not pulling the entire trigger on him yet. Wait, go back to the blue bedroom. Bedroom, 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 bedroom. That's a... Mm -hmm. I, I know at some point you got to point out the finger because he said because remember when he mentioned that uh, he said he didn't know about the fingerprint thing and loose really? even though he's stuck? doesn't matter he is <laughs> too but, powerful that, that's, that's Bauer right there oh never mind he couldn't retire or anything this turn so I have a chance I'm open to ideas fellas uh, again, try maybe the fingerprint thing. The fingerprint locks, I mean. Only a sign attempt is prints. Like, what about it, though? 
Uh, cause he mentioned... ...earlier... ...that he didn't know about them. Cause I remember when you asked him about uh, the two security systems, and Ryan's like, what about the... ...fingerprint talks? He's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> cause now I'm a dumb Westerner from the 1800s. Right, but that doesn't Wait. really pin anything against him, does it? Can we look at the SL9 thing again? Yeah, the case file? Sure. Yeah, because, like, why are we given this, you know? Probably for a, lo a little bit later. We're probably going to be asked for, like, what's your motive, officer? And then we're going to have to point, to point the big Neil Marshall thing. Gotcha. That's what I, that's what I think. I don't actually remember. The Phoenix said not to shoot your big gun yet, right? I guess, but... I don't know, your, your guess is usually 100% accurate. What do you think? <laughs> we have his fingerprints, right? Let's go whole hog. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, what if Phoenix is wrong? I'm, I'm Phoenix. I get to this side. Yeah, and, I say, and I say he's fucking guilty. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right. Yes, I guess I just need some confidence. Sure. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called in to testify like this. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or, to be exact, a handprint. Hmm. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. Pay my respects. That is, make my rounds about once a month. Once a month? It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. No, I don't think so. Listen, I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Oh, I like his poncho. Nice poncho. What's the meaning of this? You got it, baby. Finally. <laughs> Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the oh, crime gosh. scene. You piece of shit. Blood was too, left baby. away, however. Yeah. The luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? <laughs> Seems to me. There ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. God, for once, uh, someone I agree with. I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. How about the blood-stained fingerprints? Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Noon. Mr. Mercer? Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained hand print. <laughs> <laughs> the murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing uh, gloves? It's time for the mirror match, boys and girls. Get him, Katie. Oh. See? I had nothing to do with it. Why can't Ibuki be your crusher hmm. today? Your explanation appears valid. Although there's room uh, for doubt. Maybe he'll give me a card when I beat him. Life wouldn't be fun without any oh, doubt. Right. Yeah, He's taking his tie off. Defense may oh, no, now cross yet. examine. I don't get weakness. to fight him yet. That was just an introduction. Ah. Damn. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. That's my chance to prove it. Oh, Asuka. All right, I, I am getting winded. So maybe after we bust his ass on this one, we'll take a break for the night. Oh, but dear God, maybe it's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Unrelated, huh? Well, let's check out the video, everyone. Oh, goodness. Uh, why can't we speed up? Uh, uh, why?
why won't you give me fast forward control? I think if we're gonna stop, we should just stop here. <laughs> Before yeah, we but I feel like we'll also like forget where we are. It's, it's not possible. I mean, we are. We are. We're, I mean, it might just be the tape. Because when you put. Because when you put the uh, the jacket in the locker. That's pretty much the only thing I think we have that's relevant. Yeah, and then he was like, "Well, how do you know that's my locker?" It's like because it only opens to your fingerprints, dumbass. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to break this man yet. I say we do it tomorrow. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Good job, 